So you clicked on this video because you want to learn how to write a book. I'm going to explain to you how to write the plot and avoid plot holes and get everything scheduled so you can just write the book in under 10 minutes and it's going to take you less than 30 minutes to set up. This is not clickbait. Hi, my name is Bree, and I typically just do vlogs, but sometimes I'll have a topic that I think I'm equipped enough to make a video about. So if you like the video and if you found it useful, please like it. And if you want to, please subscribe to my channel. Shout out to Gail for recommending this video and asking this simple question in my comment section. You really inspired me to make this video and I feel like I can actually help so many of you guys with this question. And nobody actually ever talks about it and it's never actually super easy as some people say, but this took me less than 30 minutes to do. So let me, let me put you on what I'm doing. <laughs> so you want to write a book. I did this for when I tried NaNoWriMo and I made a whole vlog about it. And Gail asked if I was like for advice on starting the book because she just doesn't know where to start. I'll be answering all those questions and all you're going to have to do is just follow your instructions on how to write the book. Like it, you won't even have to be like, oh, well, is this an individual chapter or is this like, I mean, you could change your mind, but like it will be a guided instructions. Like you could probably even put it in AI and it'll do it for you. Like it's going to be super easy in under 30 minutes. So I'm going to get started with it before I exceed my 10 minute timer. <laughs> so what you want to start with is step one, the small idea. And with that, you just have the little thing that makes you want to write the book. And for example, I started, I didn't want to do my own book for this because I did want to actually like time and figure out how long it would take me to set this all up. And I didn't want to expose what my book is going to be about. So I decided to go with a book idea that I had in middle school and I started writing, but I had no idea where it was. I was going with it, but it just sounded cool. So the small idea was a girl gets adopted and finds out in eighth grade that her parents had to put her up for adoption because they're secret agents and she is vital to something that they wanted to protect her from. So like, I wanted it to be almost like Peter Parker in the second Spider-Man movie with like a hint of Jim Carter. Like that's just what I wanted to do. But she was like in eighth grade. So that was around the same time that I wrote it. So you have a small idea. There's not much details with that. That's just your little inspiration. So you go with that and you start flying. <laughs> Step two, figure out a little bit more of the backstory. So you just wanna figure out some of the extra details and like, okay, so like figure out why like what is the experiment that she's vital to and like so when you're planning out the story it's less work for example what i wrote is she meets a boy at school who is assigned to watch her later she goes on a field trip which is really the league of copeo it's the name i decided back then <laughs> and she discovers halfway through the book that her parents died and secured the experiment with her dna meaning that they can only duplicate it with her dna the league then tries to do the same but in a manipulative way and then she has to escape the experiment is is superhuman capabilities that are different on all like test subjects and then not one is the same and then like cheesy stuff like levitation invisibility smart strength etc so you figure out a little bit more of the backstory and then figure out the writing logistics so is it going to be first person um are you going to do povs is it just written just like a book um or and like what is the audience for what age are you trying to target because if you're writing a book that's like dystopian are you gonna have it be super um violent <laughs> or is it gonna be geared towards younger kids like this one is made for middle schoolers so i didn't want to have anything that's too heavy and i didn't want to have anything that's too like big kid and i wanted to have it more cheesy so with that mindset i'm going in and writing the story which what i use is the michael I don't know how to say his name. I'll probably put it down below or something. His story st structure. And I'll probably link that as well. Um, I learned this in a film class. And I wasn't going to share it with anyone. Because I'm like, oh, well, we did learn it in film class. I'm like, it should be a secret. But then I googled it. And it's literally on Google. So it's fine. Um, but what I do is I, you just write the story with the stuff that it has. <clears throat> For example, set up. You meet my main character, Jane. She lives with her adopted family, isn't an only child, and you use minimal words necessary. Um, so you just summarize it. So you meet Jane, she goes to school, and there's this guy, Mark. <laughs> I would also create more, I would find more creative names if I actually cared about this novel, but I don't. Um, Mark, and then he's kind of nervy and follows her around, but, and she kind of like doesn't like people. And then opportunity is she's starting to get suspicious of mark and her history teacher and then she finds out about the league of colpeo and then she goes to headquarters oh and then she finds out that she needs to be recruited to go to headquarters then the new situation is mr owen sets up a class um that 
just her and Mark would only attend because it's like in the middle of the semester and just like that kind of stuff just doesn't work out. Um, and then they tell her parents that they're gonna have a field trip on local landmarks at the, on the weekend. Then the change of plans is either, as they're going on the field trip, um, they're going to the museum, which is the headquarters is like below the museum. Um, then um, the bus driver that was taking them there turned out to be with the opposing league, the League of Ravens. <laughs> and he, as, a, okay, I'll get to this in a little bit. It made me excited that I literally proved my point as I was writing it. I won't get too excited though. And then um, change of, oh wait, progress is they arrive and then they meet the CEOs and then she's like, oh, this is like what I was made for. Like, I love this kind of stuff. Like my parents worked for this. I love this company, haha. <laughs> Point of no return is Jane, Jane finds out that her parents were kidnapped by the League of Ravens, like her foster, her new adopted parents, and are being held captive, and the League of Copeo has to turn her in. And then complications and higher stakes, Jane agrees to help the League figure out what she was needed for, like why does the other people need her so bad. And then um, they give her a 24 hour limit, and then the major setback, they find a reason, and then the CEO becomes evil and has a whole speech, and then is... Um, starts trying to duplicate the serum all by herself while impersonating Mr. Owens, who's a history teacher who is secretly a secret agent, and then Mark, who's also the secret secret agent. <laughs> and then they go in prison and all that stuff. And then the final push, they're running blood samples, she almost dies. Um, then as the evil lady's about to take the dose, then they like knock her unconscious. And then to save Jane, they give her the dose and then that gives her superpowers. And then the climax is they drive to the League of Raven, find her parents back while using their new superpowers that they all got because they all decided to drink the potion. And then the aftermath is a couple weeks after um, they are just back at school and they're learning how to suppress their, um, they're learning how to suppress their powers and yeah. <laughs> and then, um, yeah. And then you could decide if you're gonna like, you want to decide if you're going to have this be a trilogy, so, like, you, towards the end, you'll figure out if you want to just end the book or make another one. And then what you're going to do is you're going to write bullet points for each chapter and include word count and the person who is the point of view if you're going to do a point of view book. And I recommend color coding that. You could do that on a laptop or on pieces of paper. For my real book, I did it on a piece of paper, paper but it's just first person. Um, but what I did is I was like, okay, for this chapter, um, for this like I've made bullet points for like what's gonna happen like you introduce a character she goes to school then she's hanging out with Mark for this next chapter and then I put what thousand words I wanted to do because I mapped out like my total of words and then it's just a huge a huge thing but it's really easy and then you make character lists and descriptions and what you do like for example Jane Wilson is the main character she's adopted and reminds me of Annabeth from Percy Jackson and she looks like me something like that so you have something to base your person off of then you create a Pinterest board. Um, so you can just visualize the locations. Um, so then you could describe it better and even the people if you want to, but I just recommend doing like base them off of a movie character. And you don't have to like write in the book that, oh, this person reminds me of Tom Felton. <laughs> Sorry, I saw the picture of us. <laughs> um, <laughs> the, um, so yeah, and then, so the Pinterest for visualization and then make a playlist. Um, this is my favorite part of it because you just, make a jam that fits your book vibe for my book that i'm writing it's called the fading the fading rose yeah it's like fantasy princesses and daggers and all that stuff so it's a lot of violins and bridgerton and all that fun stuff <laughs> i love it so much and then read through your notes one more time check for plot holes or complications oh here's the thing that i was excited about as i was writing this um i was trying to you can try to figure out the plot as you're going through and work out the little kinks and all that stuff but what i was doing i don't and what I was doing is I was, as I was writing it, I was like, oh my gosh, I could have it that the bus driver, they noticed that the bus driver has like scars and then a missing limb and then was ridiculously strong. And then that can force out of the fact that the Ravens, like the League of Ravens, like tried to steal the serum and then duplicate it on what they had left because it's a whole fiasco. I wish I could explain it to you guys, but I don't have enough time because I set the timer for myself. But yeah, and then um, after you do all that stuff, start writing, you're ready. That's all you have to do. It is as easy as that. And then you just have a step-by-step -step of what you have to do and you just have to write the book. I will never suffer from like plot holes or anything that's complicated because you plan it through. You plan it through your life. You plan the whole book. When there's people that say, just start writing. No, 
no, <laughs> you're gonna get in a plot hole. And I had so many unfinished books because of plot holes and I just started writing and I didn't know where I was taking this. So yeah, you can steal my plot from my book if you want. It'd be fun to see that be <laughs> actually written, <laughs> but yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for joining this video. I hope I, I hope I helped clear it up a little bit. Um, just stick to that plot structure and just, just write it out and figure out what you're going to do. And like ideas will just like show up and you'll just like, oh, that just makes sense. And like, as you just, just go through it step by step, don't start planning the climax. You just have to walk it through. But yeah, so thank you so much for joining. I will catch you guys next time. Like the video if you found it useful. Um, share it with any of your writer friends. Um, if you want have any more questions, please drop them in the comments. Thank you, Gail, for recommending this video idea. It actually got me so excited and I spent like 30 minutes doing this and it was fun. <laughs> I love making stories. Um, so yeah, I will catch you guys next time. Subscribe if you haven't already. My goal is 10,000 subscribers before 2025. But yeah, I will catch you guys later. Goodbye. <laughs>